Is history set to repeat itself with Florida State starting 0-4? We're going to find out in a minute. But first, I want to tell you about a special going on at Wager Talk this week. Uh, using coupon code FOOTBALL100, FBALL100, F-B-A-L-L-100, that is. Uh, you get $100 off any combo football package that's college football, NFL combined. And if college football is your thing, CFB50 works for $50 off any handicappers college football package, whether it's me or any of the other handicappers at Wager Talk. Use coupon code FBALL100 for a combined college and NFL and use coupon code CFB50 uh, for either $100 off the, the combo or $50 off just college football all week long at Wager Talk. All right, we're talking Florida State Cal and it's very reminiscent of 2021 for Florida state. Uh, they were a top 10 team coming into the season. They lost on opening weekend to Notre Dame in overtime, 41 to 38. And they followed it up with a loss to at the time, Jacksonville state was FCS followed up with a loss to Jacksonville state. No showed the following week against wake forest and went zero and four in that 2021 season uh, before finally winning a game. Uh, 2024 is eerily similar. The loss to Georgia Tech, the really bad loss to Boston College, and then just a complete no-show last week against Memphis. Uh, to be sitting here at 0-3 and you know staring 0-4 in the face as a very hot Cal team uh, comes to Tallahassee you know, in, in what's really a, a, a very well could be a season-saving job saving for for Norvell type game here for FSU. Now, I want to reference that 21 season for just a second because after the 0-4 start, Florida State did gut out a three-point win over Syracuse. They followed that up with a really nice road win at North Carolina where it looked for a brief instant that that they might be back. Uh, Eventually finished 5-7 and in that season. Um, but so there, there is precedent and, you know, Florida state's not going to lose every game and there is precedence for bouncing back from a slow start, which is kind of the way I'm, I'm going to approach this game here. Now, a couple of weeks ago, like before the start of the season, this line would have been multiple touchdowns. Uh, you would have seen something similar to what you saw with Cal going to Auburn a couple of weeks ago, uh, multi, you know, 14 point spread, 13 and a half point spread. Um, it, it probably would have been similar, if not bigger, uh, coming to FSU prior to the start of the season. Um, so huge difference in, in what the number would be. Now Florida State only needs to win this game by a field goal, uh, minus two and a half most places right now. And, you know, I really like this Cal team. Uh, I cashed that in that Auburn game with a four with a four percent play taking the points with Cal. Um but I, I, I prefer them in, in one of two roles, either A, a bigger underdog like they were in that game against Auburn, a multiple touchdown cushion, or B, I'm going to probably like them as a home game, as a home team, uh, playing teams that are that are forced into the tough trip out to Berkeley. Uh, the, it's the flip side here for Cal, and I don't think it can be understated what a, what a terrible just setup and spot this is for Cal coming into this game. Uh, now, this is one of the things we're going to see more with some of the conference realignment and, and really not being like a regional league anymore. Um, it, it's a crazy travel setup for Cal here. Uh, opening the season at home, coming out to play Auburn, going back home last week to play San Diego State, and now coming back to the East Coast all the way to Florida to play Tallahassee. More importantly, fourth game with no buy. So what, what the college football has done to alleviate some of this crazy travel is it's teams usually get a week off early and then they'll get a week off later in the season. So like two idle weeks and Cal hasn't had one yet. So they're going to go into their buy after this week. Um, I, I had this circled weeks ago. Uh, I had this circled weeks ago, uh, especially when I knew that I was going to like Cal in the Auburn game. I had this spot circled as a no brainer fade of Cal based on, you know, kind of how the the travel was going to play out. And, and I even put a star next to it when Cal won the Auburn game because I said to myself, okay, this is going to be the, the home run spot 
um, you know, to, to fade Cal, especially if they go out and play well last week against San Diego state, state which they did. So I, I still, I still feel that way. It's still a horrible spot for Cal. I still really want to fade them in this spot. Um, but I'm going to have to kind of decide, can I get there with Florida state? And I, I'm leaning toward thinking I'm, I'm going to. So I have not locked this in for clients yet, but I'm leaning toward thinking that it'll, that it'll probably pop up on my card. Now, Cal has been super impressive on both sides of the ball. Um, but, you know, again, impressive relative to what they were last year, what the expectation was. I do think this team has improved, but I, I don't know that they're ready to go to to go on the road in a huge conference game and be less than a field goal favorite and, and, and you know, to, to have any sort of confidence taking them in that setup uh, in the ACC just yet. So, you know, when I look at the Florida state team and I'm asking myself, you know, how, how can one after watching that Memphis game last week, after watching the Boston college game, how, how can one have any confidence here in backing Florida state? And for me, it's just the the hope that Florida State will look at the game plan from last week against Memphis and say, uh, we have to run the ball more. We we have, you know, w- coming into this season, I, I really expected this to be more of a run first offense. And Florida State had 37 rushing yards last week against Memphis. So, you know, this is a, this is a Florida State team that just barely missed out on the college football playoff last year. Um, we we know. Norvell is is a respectable coach. They've had good teams. This isn't just like a, a scrub roster. I did think they would take a step back defensively, but but it's been the offense that that's just been so horrific so far this season for Florida State. And you know, almost non-competitive at times last week. You know, being a good example of that. So for me, I'm trusting the game plan of Florida State, trusting them to come out run the football more. I think it's going to going to allow them to to sort of move the chains and sustain some offense and and then I'm just going to trust my my read of the spot here. Um you know, Florida State and Cal, I think right now if you took the records out of it, just kind of looked at at, at what both teams have on both sides of the ball. I, I you you can't really I, I at least for me I can't say Cal is 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 better per se. I, I do think Cal is is off to a better start. Of course, the Auburn result is a good one. Um, but I'm still not willing to, to say that Cal deserves to be favored on the road against a team like Florida state. So based on where the number is based on the overreaction, you're getting Florida state at a massive discount here, minus two and a half. That's the only way I could play this game. It's the way I'm looking at playing this game. It's very possible that this one makes my card at some point, especially if it, ticks down a little bit and I can get a, an FSU money line at like minus 125 or better, uh, I could almost guarantee I'm going to add that to my client card. So that's how I'm seeing this one. I like Florida State. I think they resurrect their season, maybe temporarily, but similar to 2021. I think they resurrect their season on Saturday and uh, I, I'm, I'm going with the Seminoles. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below. Let me know if you agree. Let me know if you disagree. I'll jump in the comments and uh, we'll chat this game up. But I like Florida State on Saturday to get their first win of the season.